I'm Brandon Campbell, and I am the Director of Small Business and Inclusion with the Little Rock Regional Chamber, and you're watching our story. I have the pleasure today to be here with Vicki Williams, who is the founder and the CEO of Williams Professional Coding Courses. Thank you for having me. Yes, thank you. So, Vicki, what is Williams Professional Coding Courses? Okay, well, what Williams Professional Coding Courses, um, or WPCC, mm -hmm. we are an all-medical coding school. Mm -hmm. And so what we do is we train our students to successfully take the uh, exam for Certified Professional Coder, or CPC, so that they can gain careers in the healthcare industry. Okay. Now, what is it about your coding um, school or academy that makes it unique? Well, I believe what makes our school unique is the fact that we keep our classes small. So um, our students have an advantage there because a lot of times when the classes are so large, people don't feel comfortable mm -hmm. with um, asking questions or they may feel a little intimidated and so forth. And then is there's a lack of individual um, time with the instructors. And so with us keeping our classes small, that helps our instructors um, give that um, individual time to those students and um, also another advantage or makes us unique is we are just medical coding versus some of the other schools out there offer different programs in um, other areas and so forth but we are strictly medical coding. And what led to you establishing your own school and small business? Well um, who inspired me um, to start this business um, was God. Mm -hmm. um, I have a passion um, for helping others mm -hmm. and um, I can remember when I went through mm -hmm. um, the course for my training, um, my class was fairly large mm -hmm. and um, a lot of my classmates were um, unsuccessful mm -hmm. at passing the exam on the first attempt. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of them ended up coming to me. Mm -hmm. for individual tutoring mm -hmm. to uh, for their second attempt to, mm -hmm. to take the exam and so um, I found that I really enjoyed that mm -hmm. and I thought well maybe I should look into you know doing this more often um, and helping people be successful with um, taking the exam so that's um, how I pretty much started it. Okay. Mm -hmm. that's fine. Okay. And so I know a lot of times you know, with companies, you know, the, the startup phase is sometimes the most challenging phase. Yes. <laughs> uh, how did you deal with, deal with things when you kind of went through those, you know, maybe some trials or tribulations or challenges, and how did you overcome them? Well, um, yes, definitely starting up a small business is very challenging, and I did face many of those challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, I did, um, however, um, um, look to other leaders in the industry to help me. Um, I look to uh, find mentors in the area where I am or where my business is to, um, um, you know, speak to them for their wisdom and knowledge mm -hmm. and to help me uh, structure um, my organization. So, um, and also, um, I, I believe that I did a lot of praying mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, and with, with prayer um, gave me the, the strength to persevere. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, when you were mentioning about mm -hmm. mentorship now, we understand that you were selected mm -hmm. by the River Rock International's Delta Iphone uh, Summer Cohort. So to receive <laughs> what, a lot of mentorship, development, uh, technical assistance, an opportunity to uh, pitch for $50,000 <laughs> and uh, seed money, uh, through uh, the Wind Rock International. Mm -hmm. So tell us, what has that experience been like working with the Wind Rock and the Delta I Fund? Okay, well, um, the um, Delta I Fund has been great for me. Um, I am truly blessed to have been selected to be in the summer cohort. Um, I have um, gained a lot of um, new colleagues mm -hmm. um, through this program. Um, the mentorship has been great. Mm -hmm. um, the program itself offers a lot of information that I did not know mm -hmm. and um, it has um, really helped me with structuring my organization and taking a look at my business canvas mm -hmm. and to, to, to look at what um, things that I may have missed mm -hmm. um, trying to do it on my own. So mm -hmm. this um, 
opportunity has been truly great. And then the fact to be able to pitch for $50,000 yeah. in investment funding, of course, is, mm -hmm. is awesome. So, yes, this is a great opportunity for us. Mm -hmm. And so, and, and tell, tell me, you know, you know medical coding, um, tell us about, you know, how important is it and also some of the impact that you're doing uh, with um, in the medical coding industry throughout the state of Arkansas. Okay. Well, uh, medical coding is is very important um, to the healthcare industry itself because um, this is what our physicians rely on to um, be reimbursed for their services. Gotcha. Um, our physicians are focused on taking care of their patients, which is which is their main goal, and it should be, mm -hmm. as it should be. And as medical coders, our job is to make sure that our providers. Uh, receive their reimbursement for those services. So, um, medical coders um, in the healthcare is a growing field right now. Mm -hmm. Most of um, providers are looking to hire mm -hmm. coders because we've had a lot of changes mm -hmm. in um, the healthcare industry, mm -hmm. especially with the billing and, and so forth since we uh, switched over to new uh, classification of diseases mm -hmm. and um, uh, CPTs and things like that, which is current procedure terminology, and so um, medical coders play, coders play a big part in that, in that success. So um, it itself is just growing rapidly, and WPCC is working to put more coders in the state of Arkansas, so that our providers have a fair chance at. Um, receiving their reimbursements quickly, efficiently, and so having a certified coder does that for um, providers. And so that is our goal, to put those coders out there so that they can take care of our providers here in Arkansas. Mm -hmm. And so I know especially in the, you know, in Arkansas where you have rural Arkansas mm -hmm. where you have access to, to learning right. how to do medical coding. Um, has been a challenge for some of them. And so how have you kind of help facilitate that and really help them or, or connect with them to give them those tools that they need. Yes, yeah, so um, that is true. In rural Arkansas, um, there's not many opportunities for um, training for uh, coding, coding or you know otherwise. So what we are doing at WPCC, we are reaching out to those uh, rural areas and we are um, developing classes and training programs to reach those people. Um, right now, we do have some people that drive in from some of those rural areas to our classes, but we are working to um, set up classes in those areas so that we can um, help more people that may be interested in um, medical coding, but otherwise may not have um, an opportunity to attend here in, Lil in the Little Rock area. And at the Little Rock Regional Chamber, we're just very appreciative of you and other small businesses uh, because at the end of the day, you all are the lifeblood of our of our community and in our economic uh, growth and and even also where we're trying to go forward um, in our community as well too in, in the business community. And so, I wanted to just talk to you about how do you think you know you've been you being a part of the Little Rock Chamber has been beneficial to you. Oh gosh, the Little Rock Chamber has certainly been a benefit to me um, just from the um, additional presence that I have um, now throughout the city of Little Rock and the state of Arkansas and also um, the vendor um, vendors and other um, chamber members and also the social events. Um, mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, um, that's how I found out about the iPhone was through um, one of the, the chamber um, events that you guys had posted and so um, that was great and otherwise I may not have known about the iPhone so um, just being a part of the chamber has um, helped me significantly with getting my presence out in this area so I'm very appreciative of that. Right. Well, well, thank you very much, Vicki. Thank you for, for being you. on our story. Mm -hmm. Thank you all out there for watching our story. Until next time.